Chapter 17 A dry crust eaten in peace is better than a great feast with strife. A wise slave will rule over the master's shameful sons, and will share their inheritance. Fire tests the purity of silver and gold, but the Lord tests the heart. Wrongdoers listen to wicked talk, liars pay attention to destructive words. Those who mock the poor insult their Maker. Those who rejoice at the misfortune of others will be punished. Grandchildren are the crowning glory of the aged. Parents are the pride of their children. Eloquent speech is not fitting for a fool, even less are lies fitting for a ruler. A bribe seems to work like magic for those who give it. They succeed in all they do. Disregarding another person's faults preserves love. Telling about them separates close friends. A single rebuke does more for a person of understanding than a hundred lashes on the back of a fool. Evil people seek rebellion, but they will be severely punished. It is safer to meet a bear robbed of her cubs than to confront a fool caught in folly. If you repay evil for good, evil will never leave your house. Beginning a quarrel is like opening a floodgate, so drop the matter before a dispute breaks out. The Lord despises those who acquit the guilty and condemn the innocent. It is senseless to pay tuition to educate a fool who has no heart for wisdom. A friend is always loyal, and a brother is born to help in time of need. It is poor judgment to co-sign a friend's note to become responsible for a neighbor's debts. Anyone who loves to quarrel loves sin. Anyone who speaks boastfully invites disaster. The crooked heart will not prosper. The twisted tongue tumbles into trouble. It is painful to be the parent of a fool. There is no joy for the father of a rebel. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. The wicked accept secret bribes to pervert justice. Sensible people keep their eyes glued on wisdom, but a fool's eyes wander to the ends of the earth. A foolish child brings grief to a father and bitterness to a mother. It is wrong to fine the godly for being good or to punish nobles for being honest. A truly wise person uses few words. A person with understanding is even-tempered. Even fools are thought to be wise when they keep silent. When they keep their mouths shut, they seem intelligent.